So I've been developing this app called Link Metrics, and I was running into problems using React, whereby the state was being stored in components, and I needed components to talk to other components so that it was easier to compartmentalize uh, actions into single components. So say, for example, I have um, a component. Well, say, say these components here, which I want to click the check boxes on. When I was doing that, I need to send messages to other components rather than have this, what well, seems a sort of standard way of doing it is having a, an invested load of callbacks on each component to pass the data back up. So anyway, I looked into solutions for this and I found this awesome uh, system called Redux, which is uh, similar to Flux, which I'd never used, but a more simple implementation, so I've read. The idea is that your app has a single global state object which defines how everything looks and works. So for example, if, if say this sidebar could slide in and out, that would be a key in the state, display or not display. If uh, we had a modal or something like that, or, or the highlighted menu item would also be, be in your state. And so what's cool about that is that you can actually have a sequence of states of your application stored and can rewind and replay the states, which is awesome for debugging. And I suppose technically you could even record what users are doing by recording the states. So anyway, I have this app here. This is Link Metrics, which I'm, I'm working on at the moment. And I have two, I have my global state here and I have two different keys in the state. I have one for flash message. So whether a flash, mes flash message is shown or hidden. Uh, and I also get the level of it, which defines what the color of it, etc., and the text that's displayed. When there's no text, it's not displayed. Obviously, with, I mean the components not even rendered. There's, there's just nothing there. And I have another one called Add Leads to Campaign. And this is this is what was what caused me to investigate this solution. So when let's do show you an example. When I actually select a campaign, um, briefly, what I'm doing is just adding these leads to campaign. So you know, leads can just be grouped by campaigns. So this is a fairly standard uh, sort of user interface pattern. Anyway, so when I select a lead from a campaign to add the leads to it's going to it's going to update the state here to say that I have one selected so we got this is uh, an action we don't really need to know about that too much and then the state we can look at the state again I can say okay the fast message nothing happened there obviously but the campaign ID has changed here there's no campaign ID here is the campaign ID so let's go one step further let's say actually Oh, and of course, this button, whether it's enabled or disabled, is actually governed by state. This enable adds lead button is false. So I'm saying that if I don't have any leads checked here, but I do have something selected there, that's not enough to obviously be able to submit the form, so my add button is still disabled. But if I click one of these, then my add button becomes enabled, and this row is highlighted. So in my add leads to campaign array, I have um, one item, and it's a lead, my add, my enable leads button has now become true. So let's select another one and I can, okay, that seems cool. So that's, that's done. And let's actually add those to a new email list, get my flash message here. Now that's all fairly straightforward stuff. But what I can do is I can now take off the updates in these states. So let's say the actual last one there, it added the lead, it added the flash message, the flash message, and it also reset the leads on the campaign. So it, it reset this select back to no selection made and also reset these back to uh, uh, took off the checkboxes. I noticed it also didn't actually um, take off the uh, the color, the class, so I need to fix that. But anyway, what I can do is undo that last action. And so that's where we were just before I submitted. I can undo the flash, mes the flash message. I can undo the select lead, the other select lead right back to the initial state. And in fact, if I want to delete all of these, I can just click revert and it'll take me back to my initial state, although it's still, still broken. But anyway, this is, this is awesome.